Hi, in this video I will show you how to install and configure VSFTPD server on Ubuntu 2004. For this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu 2004 and VSFTPD, very secure file transfer protocol daemon. Let's start. Let's begin by updating the package lists and installing VSFTPD. Open terminal. To update the package lists, type sudo apt update. The second command will then download and install VSFTPD. sudo apt install VSFTPD. Press Y and enter when asked to continue. Once installed, check the status of VSFTPD with sudo service VSFTPD status. Now we can see the FTP server is now up and running. If you haven't already done so, it is recommended that you enable the UFW firewall for Ubuntu 2004. Let's open ports 20 and 21 for FTP, and ports 40,000 to 50,000 for passive FTP. We'll also open port 990 for TLS. With those commands. sudo UFW allow 20 slash TCP. sudo ufw allow 21 slash tcp sudo ufw allow 40,000 colon 50,000 slash tcp sudo ufw allow 990 slash tcp now make sure you add a rule for ssh otherwise you may get locked out of your server if you're connected remotely sudo ufw allow open ssh Now enable the firewall with this command. sudo ufw enable. Check the status of ufw with sudo ufw status. If the firewall is running, you should see status as active and the firewall rules we just added. We will create a new user that we will use to log into FTP. For example, we will create a new user called FTP user by the command. sudo add user FTP user. Generate a strong password and keep it safe. Now we have two cases to configure the user FTP. The first one is to upload files directly in the home directory, this one I will show it. The second one is for upload files to the document root on the web server. Let me know in the comments if you want I will create the second videos to configure the user FTP on the web server. Now, I ask you to focus more on this step. Create a new directory called FTP in the user's home directory with the command. sudo mkdir slash home slash FTP user slash FTP. In this example, our user is called FTP user. Set the ownership of the FTP directory to nobody, colon no group with. 
sudo chow nobody colon no group slash home slash ftp user slash ftp Set permissions for the FTP directory using chmod, so that it is not writable by anyone, otherwise vsftpd will not allow you to log in. sudo chmod a-w slash home slash ftp user slash ftp. A hyphen w means a equals all hyphen equals remove w equals write permission. So, remove write permissions for everyone. Next. We will create a new directory within slash FTP where the user can view and upload files, it called files. sudo mkdir slash home slash FTP user slash FTP slash files. Assign ownership of this directory to our new FTP user otherwise, they will not be able to write to it. sudo chown FTP user colon ftp user slash home slash ftp user slash ftp slash files There are a few changes we have to make to the VSFTPD configuration file before you can start using FTP on Ubuntu 2004. Rename the config file, sudo mv slash etc slash vsftpd.con slash etc slash vsftpd.con.origin. Create a new config file, sudo vi slash etc slash vsftpd.con. We will find all the configuration lines in the description. We must tell VSFTPD that the local underscore root is the slash FTP folder we created earlier, we add those lines. User underscore sub underscore token equals dollar user local underscore root equals slash home slash dollar user slash ftp we are done with vsftpd.con save file and exit restart vsftpd sudo system ctl restart vsftpd.server We can now test VSFTPD to see if we can log in as the user we created earlier. We recommend FileZilla, which works on Windows, Mac and Linux. Enter your server's IP, your FTP username and password you created earlier, and click Quick Connect. You will notice we have a warning in FileZilla status, insecure server, it does not support FTP over TLS. It is highly recommended that you now configure TLS so that login credentials and traffic are encrypted over the FTP connection. Please watch the second video for TLS configuration. Click on the I in the top of video. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of this video in the comment. Make sure to subscribe, so you don't miss out on my future videos.